Hi, this is Larry Tab, founder and CEO of Tab Group, and I'm here with Gavinder Singh, uh, president and CEO of IVP Cosmos. Um, and the topic today is really about hedge fund growth. And um, we've seen a lot of restructuring of the hedge fund industry. They had a pretty tough year in 2008, a building year in 2009. Mm -hmm. um, you do a lot of work with hedge funds. As these firms you know, move past just kind of the single strategy, single guy running everything, what are some of the problems that these guys face and as they as they expand their business and try and you know become more than just a you know one man team? Um, thanks, Larry. Uh, I think um, you know, especially in our client base over the last uh, I would say two years, like you said, I think uh, 2008 was the year to survive. 2009 yeah. was the year to uh, uh, kind of regroup and you know re-strategize and uh, hopefully uh, catch up on your you know high water marks. Which I think a lot of the funds have managed to do. Uh, 2010 is they are really preparing for the future, and um, uh, you know if you really step back a little bit and think about you know how uh, the life cycle of a typical hedge fund plays, uh, you have a single manager who goes out, you know either spins out of an existing fund mm -hmm. or comes out of a prop desk, launches the fund, does relatively well, uh, attracts more capital, attracts more team, you know uh, more people in his team. And then the pressure to diversify becomes, you know, pretty apparent. Uh, and the moment that happens, they go from a single strategy to, you know, maybe two strategies or three strategies. And they typically tend to be uh, different strategies because, you know, hedge funds are all about, you know, uncorrelated returns. Right. Um, and okay. that starts leading to uh, challenges in the infrastructure. So uh, what 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 kinds of things do you see kind of happening? You know. You know, the systems can't support the multiple strategies, or or. Um, so you know, like when when they when they first launch, they usually pick the best system mm -hmm. uh, that works for them, right? Which they may have used in their previous shop, they're used to, which satisfies their needs well. But you know, say you're a long shot fund, and now you suddenly want to start trading commodities or energy, um, you know, the system you picked probably won't be you know, uh, as flexible as mm -hmm. you need it to be. It probably doesn't even have the all the additional fields you need to support uh, capturing of the trades, uh, mm -hmm. you know, valuing them and so on. Uh, so that's when the stress really uh, starts happening. And I think um, uh, most vendors or most um, uh, firms out there, you know, everyone wants to buy a system, the best system, which works for me, and, you know, I just want to buy it once and be done with it. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, you know, much, much different than that. Uh, the reality is, if you're going to go down a path of being a multi-strat type of a fund, you need to have the degrees of freedom in your infrastructure. So, you know, what that really means is that you need to separate your front office from your back office. And, you know, in our, in our, from our experiences over the last 10 years, uh, you need to have some, a flexible middle office layer. Uh, in there. So you can have multiple front ends that are very specialized to the different strategies, all feeding into a common back office, but you have some sort of integra integ integrative middle office. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, and, and, uh, and, and it doesn't have to be, you know, like, you know, 10, 20 modules in the middle office. It could be, you know, just, you know, the right degrees of freedom. So I think in our, from our experiences, having a separate uh, security master, reference master pays big dividends because mm -hmm. it allows you to potentially slot in new front new office products. systems mm -hmm. pretty easily, mm -hmm. integrate them, and then map them to appropriately to your back office system. Your accounting system. Right, hmm. uh, having uh, a, a consolidated reference master, so you can standardize on uh, reference data across front, middle, back, also pays big dividends. Hmm. Um, you know, having um, a reconciliation type of a process separated out, so you can keep a check on you know between front office, middle office, Where back my office. Are. Yeah. Uh, you know, tracking the breaks, you know, also pays big dividends. Mm -hmm. So these are like, you know, just simple rules of thumb. The other big one I would say is, you know, having a warehouse, mm -hmm. you know, a data warehouse where you can consolidate, uh, you know, risk data, you mm -hmm. can consolidate performance data, you can consolidate compliance data, uh, and you can bring in operations type of data as well as PB data. Hmm. And you know, having all of that in one location lets you answer questions like, "Hey, you know, what's my counterparty risk?" Right. 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 Uh, you know, where? Uh, you know, how much am I exposed to one of my, my counterparties, counterparties. At mm -hmm. on any given day? 
uh, you know, what's my outstanding in breaks with any one of them? Uh, you know, what's my margin? How much, you know, unencumbered cash do I, you know, have? Things like that, which otherwise are very tedious. So, so you know, um, this is pretty straightforward for a single strat. Generally, it's, you know, all within one platform, but when you start getting into multi-strats, you know, all this breaks down, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I think that's where the, and that's, that's, that's where we have been hired by, you know, the, you know, the fund after fund over the last 10 years, where we've been solving these problems. And, you know, I would, I would say what we are really trying to do on the Cosmos side of our business, which, you know, and specifically on the MOS products, uh, is really we're commoditizing uh, what would have been a premium consulting cell mm -hmm. three or four years back. Interesting. Um, you know, and, and that's mm -hmm. I mean, and actually, when we talk about it from a business model perspective, I mean, that's you know, that's what we're really doing right. uh, as well, because you know, the problem is solved at this point. It's just it's just rolling it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and you know, and, and and we've done it across a number of funds, different strategies, and so on, and we feel. Um, you know, it's not intellectually interesting to do the same, solve the same problem again and again. Right. You know, we want to solve it for one and, you know, make it available to everyone. No, very interesting. With that, I think we'll, we'll, we'll stop it here. Uh, Givinder Singh, President and CEO of IVP uh, Cosmos. I'm Larry Tab, founder and CEO of Tab Group, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Larry.